Hi everybody, Cheryl here. I am going to be doing, this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video. It's a request um, on how to use gold leaf. Um, I'm only going to do a, a few different things you can use it for just because there's a lot of ways you can use gold leaf and I just don't wanna get into every single way. So um, first thing I'm gonna do is show you guys well when you're using gold leaf make sure you don't have a fan blowing make sure you have the windows shut um no sudden movements this stuff goes flying um first i'm gonna do is, is show you the gold leaf and i have to do this very slowly because this stuff is super messy those of you who use it know this it is just crazy so I'm going to take a sheet of it off and this is um, a piece of this is just a little piece of wood my son actually made this for me my youngest son he put a rose in there and um, I don't know if you can see that he wrote he burned um, mom in there so <laughs> I actually use this for my um, cutting my Fimos and doing my gold leaf. So, um, all right, back to what we were doing here. Just had to share that with you. I thought that was sweet of him to think of me to make that. <laughs> so, all right. So I have a sheet of gold leaf. Now, there's two ways to break this up depending on the look that you are going for. Um, the easiest way, because this does take quite a long time to do, um, as far as breaking it up, it takes forever. Um, so anyway, the first one I'm going to show you is if you want more of the, um, hang on a second, I'm trying to, um, this will give you more of a rounded edge. Um, like a random type look. And this is, I guess, what you'd call ripping. So I just took a cup and make sure you have a lid. So these, I get these at, at Walmart. I don't know if you like, I think you have like 50 of them um, for like two or three bucks. So anyway, you just take this, this lid or this lid, this cup, and I'm just going to take it and shove it in there. And I'm just going to use my back of my my acrylic brush just because it's it's handy and the gold leaf will stick in your fingers and everything so all right so i got it all in am i in the frame sure i'll get in the frame all right so i'm putting it in there and then i'm just going to take two orange sticks here and i'm going to just start ripping it and this you know, this will take, like I said, this will take quite a while. Now, one sheet of gold leaf like this, my goodness, you can use this forever, ever, 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 you can use it. And this is, um, this is what I call um, just ripping it too. So, um, and again, this is going to give you um, the the more the, the random rounded torn up edges. Um, if I had to make a guess, I would say this is going to take a good 15 minutes to do this, to do the entire thing. So I'm going to move on and show you, I'm not even in the frame, show you the other way that you can cut this. I'm going to put the lid on and save this for later because I'm going to do a demonstration with it. Um, so you want to keep it in here and then you can, you know, cut it to size. If you want the bigger pieces um, great. If you want the smaller pieces, just just go at it. Keep keep cutting it. But the other way you can do it, um, and this will give you more of a the straighter, um, sharper edge look. And I'm gonna grab one more sheet, just lay it on my board. And this is this takes a long time too. Um. <laughs> Gold leaf is not a lot of fun. I honestly dread using gold leaf, but it's beautiful on the nails. And um, what I have here is one of those um, Fimo, Fimo blades. 
And because it is thinner than tissue paper, it is super light, um, what I'm going to do is, and I'm not going to use my fingers because it will stick to the fingers, so I'm just going to kind of pull towards me some pieces. And then, um, as you can see, I just breathed on it and it went crazy. So I just take this and take my blade and just start cutting. And I'm trying not to breathe on it because it's gonna go flying. Now, again, this is gonna give you the sharper, I'm trying. I don't even know if I'm in the frame, ladies. I'm sorry if I'm not. But this is uh, going to give you the sharper, more um, edgy look. Where the one, the way I did it in there, in the cup, it's going to be more of a rounded. And you can just cut, and you can get the smaller pieces there, as you can see. Or you can have the bigger pieces. You can, as you can see, you can cut cut it in any shape that you would like and I'm trying not to breathe in fact I have to turn my head to breathe because this will go flying um, so I'm just gonna cut a few more here just so I have some for uh, my tutorial um, I'm gonna put some of this in the other little cup but you can see like the female blade or a razor blade works really nicely. Um, but again, this is not going to give you the rounded look. So, all right, I think I have enough here. This stuff I'm going to just leave here for later and I will clean it up. Um, let me just cut some of these up before I put my blade away. Alrighty, um, I'm trying to find my foam brush. This thing is a lifesaver with a lot of stuff. Um, I use it to pick up glitter and all sorts of things. Um, I always, usually have a scoop here too, but I can't seem to find my scoop. So I'm just going to use this piece of paper and brush it onto here and then without breathing and you can see the static also gets to this so but this is good enough for my little tutorial so anyways you got that there I'm gonna take this which oh my goodness I'm going to be cleaning gold leaf up for a week. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, now, as far as what you can do with it, um, there's three different things I'm going to show. Um, there's three different... Sorry, I apologize. I have people trying to come up on me here and ask me questions when they know I'm recording a video here. So, <laughs> anyway, there's just three ways I'm going to explain. Now, of course, the easiest way to use Gold Leaf is... I know a lot of you ladies make glitter mixes. And this stuff looks beautiful in your glitter mixes. You just cut it up. I actually, if I'm going to put it in my glitter mixes, I just do it with the the Fimo, um, Fimo blade and then um, so I get the sharper edges. And I try to make it more of a finer cut when I'm mixing it into my glitter mixes. Um, so that's one thing you can do with, with the gold leaf. The other thing you can do, and as I'm talking to you a little bit here, I'm going to continue ripping this because I have this takes forever. This, I mean, literally, I could be here all day. Um, easy 15, 20 minutes to do one sheet um, doing it this way. Um, so, again, you can make it whatever size you want if you like the big or the little. So, um, 
Let's see here. Um, I, I prepped a couple practice nails here with nail polish. This is um, the Clean Color brand. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. This is Clean Color, and this one's called Golden Nightmare. And it's a really pretty black with gold flecks in it. And then this one here is also by Clean Color, and it's called Cobalt. So what I did was um, I prepped a couple nail tips um, with these, and I'm just going to kind of show you. Just, you know, and I'm not doing anything fancy. This is just a quick, well, I'm trying to make it as quick as possible. But just to, to get an idea, this is basically just an idea. I'm not going to do anything super fancy or super perfect or whatever. It's just going to be, um, this is just tutorial. So, all right. So I'm going to take um, this. Now, typically, you want the, the polish to be a little bit tacky. But since I've been cutting it, my polish dried. So I'm going to put just a tiny bit of clear coat on the top just to make it a little bit tacky and um you take your fan brush here and i'm going to take the the one that i cut and you you just pick it up with the fan brush and then you just randomly lay it and these are bigger slices like i said this this is something I just did for, for the tutorial. So, and, and the other really nice thing about Gold Leaf is um, it's so thin that you can use this on nail polish. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to lay really nice. And um, I don't know if you can see that. It's going to lay nice and smooth, and you're not going to be able to feel it. So, um that is the really, really good thing about gold leaf. So I'm going to leave that one like that. I'm going to grab a blue one. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put a very, 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 I mean, literally um, just enough to make it a little sticky of clear coat. And then um, I'm going to try to actually grab some of these, this bigger piece, and just see what happens. I mean... This is the, the torn one, so I'm just going to randomly just place it on there. And you can see that one's a little more rounded. And you can actually take your finger and press it down because I honestly didn't put that much clear coat on here to make it where I'm going to mess it up. I mean, it was just enough just to make it tacky. And then I'll put another piece like over here. And then I think what I'm going to do is take a couple of these little pieces, which if I spent more time and broke it down, I would have had more of the little pieces available, but I didn't. So, alrighty. So, you can see here, I'm going to move these over, that um, I have the bigger chunks here, and then these are the more of the... Other ones. And then what you just do now is I put clear coat over top. And. And let it dry. And there you go. You got um, some really cool. Easy way. To. Do your nails here. Let me put some clear coat over the black. And then I'll show you how you can do it with acrylic. It's just the same. It's just as easy with acrylic. So, again, I don't know if you can see. If you can see that, of course, I just flipped it over. So, let me repolish that so it's not all yucky. So, here's the, the blue one. And then there's the black one. And, of course, these are bigger pieces in here. And then these are the more where I took this one here is where I use the, the blade to cut them. So you're getting um, more of a, a straight edge 
with that. This one here, it's more the rounded torn look. So um, I'm going to set these over here to dry. And I have... I have these practice nails, same color as I used. Um, oh, geez, let me get this out of the way. So basically, same thing. I'm going to just take the clear polish and, and just put a very, very, very thin layer on here, just enough to make it a little bit tacky. And... Um, Oh, that was good. That wasn't dry, so I just made my brush. <laughs> um, so, anyway, all right, I'm going to, I just got polish on my brush, that's all. So, I'm going to lay some here. And these are the, the more smaller broken up pieces. And you just lay it on there. Now, if you're going to do other nail art on here, that's that's fine. I mean, it, you want to put the gold leaf on and then you can do, um, you know, if you want to put rhinestones or lines or whatever. But I just, this, this tutorial was just basically a request where someone says, well, I've never used gold leaf before. How do I use it? So, um... You know, these. Uh, this is just me doing just basic, and I, I'm trying to keep it as basic as possible. So, um, let's see. I'm trying to get a bigger piece. So, anyway, all right. So, and then you just pat it down with your finger. I, I don't even think I'm in the frame. I am, I am so sorry. I'm not paying attention to the camera. I'm paying attention to what I'm doing here. So, all right. So that's the gold leaf that I cut with the blade. And you can see it's more of a straighter edge. Um, on the black one, I'm going to use the the more the bigger one where I ripped it so it has it doesn't have um it's got the bit you know it the more of the rounded edge so these are much bigger pieces then you just lay that in there it's kind of big I'm gonna Again, I didn't spend the time to really break this apart, so um, these are pretty good sized pieces that I have on here. Um, I'm going to try to grab a smaller piece right here. And that looks really cool. So uh, this is the one where I, again, this is the ripping one. So, and then I'm just going to take my finger again and stick it on. And again, if you want to just put clear coat over it and be done with it, that's good. Um, you can also take clear acrylic if you want to do acrylic nails and just encapsulate that with, uh, with clear acrylic. I'm not going to sit here and do that because this is already, I've been in here way too long. So I'm just going to take my, my, um, my ASP gel top coat and just put, um, put that on there. Um, and then I'm going to put it in the light for a second and then I'll just kind of show you, but I, I wanted to, oh shoot, I wanted to show you the difference between ripping and, um, cutting. So as you can see, the cutting gives you more of the straighter edge. The ripping gives you more of the rounded edge. 
Um, you can cut it to size. I was in a hurry here to just kind of give you an idea. So I did use bigger pieces. So, I mean, it's, you know, whatever you like. Um, and then again, you can also use the gold leaf in your glitter mixes. You know, you mix it in there. Um, I'm going to try to pick some of this up here while I'm talking. So you just mix some. Um, you know, just cut up your gold leaf. And again, if you're going to put gold leaf inside of your glitter mixes, um, I tend to like it a little bit, um, cut a little bit finer um, if it's going in there just because, um, you know, it's going in a glitter mix. So um, anyway, where is my, let's see here. I want to just... Um, take this out and show you if that'll so this is the one on the black and gold nail polish and I this is the the torn one so it has the rounded edges that is so pretty you can you know you can decorate or do whatever you want with that I'm just showing you how to use it and then this one is the, and I had gel spillage over here. I knocked it over. <laughs> um, this is the one where I cut it so you have a little bit more of the straighter edges. So anyway, there it is, my tutorial, which lasted a lot longer than I wanted. Um, but that's how you use gold leaf. Um very simple stuff but a pain in the butt to work with i'll be honest about it but it's beautiful beautiful and there's so many things you can do with it so many different ways you can cut it and put it on there um again this was just just me being quick about it and i was not quick about it as usual so <laughs> anyway um and then i don't know if these show up or not but where i did the the nails here so you know there's all sorts of different it's just it's so nice and it's so random and each nail is going to look different so um if you have any questions send me a message um you can also encapsulate it in acrylic you can lay it in gel there's so much you can do with gold leaf it is so much fun so anyway um have any questions send me a message um comment down below like the video. Um, thanks a bunch for watching. Talk to y'all later. Bye.